Let's look at today's coronavirus numbers. The state reporting 420 new cases over the past 24 hours, along with 33 more deaths. With the vaccine, there is no shortage of supply. 11 million doses have been sent here to Michigan with 8.3 million shots going into arms. Good news with the vaccine front. The just getting close now to that 60% mark. 59.1% of Michiganders have received at least one vaccine dose. Now, during the course of this pandemic, we have, of course, often, uh, almost daily, and as a matter of fact, checked in with our Dr. Frank Me George to talk about the trend of cases and hospitalizations across the state. And generally, we check in with them because, unfortunately, the cases are skyrocketing. Exactly. But now it's a different situation. Vaccines are going into arms. Cases are on the decline. So we really want to ask, Doc, where do things... Well, you know, the last time I did one of these data dives was back on April 22nd, and things weren't looking good at all. I can definitely say without hesitation, though, things look much better in the latest state data. But the data also shows we are still in a pandemic. Hopefully, with more people getting vaccinated and everyone keeping their eye on the ball, the numbers, though, will keep going in the right direction. The last time I reported on this, there were 4,211 people in Michigan hospitals for COVID-19. As of May 31st, we're down to 981 patients hospitalized with COVID. That's still above the low of 304 last summer, but it's a huge turnaround from the peak just six weeks ago. Back on April 19th, there were 895 people in Michigan ICUs with COVID. As of May 31st, it's dropped to 292 patients. Still high compared to last summer, but definitely going in the right direction. Six weeks ago, deaths were up 25% from the prior week. Generally, they peaked in most age groups at the start of May. And now, deaths have consistently fallen, 32% since last week. Statewide, the percent positivity has gone from this to this, the lighter shades of blue instead of purple indicating a drop across the state. Six weeks ago, the percent positivity was above 16%. Now, it's roughly one-third of that, around 5%. While all of that shows tremendous progress, one sure thing to remind us there's still a pandemic is the continued spread of variants across the state. Six weeks ago, there were only three counties shaded in red that had documented cases of four variants of concern. Now, variants of concern have been identified throughout all of Lower Michigan, with 11 counties showing four variants of concern. Now, with 11 counties showing four variants of concern, that is still something we need to keep in mind. But generally, all of the data is extremely reassuring that we are headed in the right direction. Now, of course, we still have a way to go with vaccinating people, and we haven't seen the effect, if any, that Memorial Day get-togethers might have had on the numbers. But at least as far as the last surge goes, things are definitely looking up. And that's obviously some great news. Things are improving, Doc. But in comparison, how is Michigan doing to the rest of the U.S.? Well, you know, Karen, during the last surge, we were actually leading the country number one in cases. Now we have actually fallen to seventh in the number of cases and 12th in case rates. And of course, that is definitely a list you do not want to be at the top of. Oh, we agree with that. All right. Thank you very much for your perspective. We appreciate it, Doc.